These are the common values for picas that relate to inches. One eighth of an inch equals nine points. Nine points is three fourths of a pica. We write that as zero P nine because there's no picas and nine points. A uh, quarter of an inch is 18 points, which is 1P6. One pica is 12 points. Six is the remainder. 12 and eight makes, or 12 and six makes 18. One third of an inch is two picas. Half an inch, three picas. Three quarters of an inch is 4P6. And one inch is going to be six picas, of course. 72 points is in an inch. A third of 72 is 24. 72 points to the inch. Half of 72 is 36. Three quarters is uh, 18 plus 36. So you can start adding them up that way as you need to. Add up smaller amounts if you're not quite sure how much it makes all together. And then here's 72. A long time ago, like early 1980s, monitors, computer monitors, had 72 pixels per inch. Now the ratios are much higher. The resolution is much qual higher quality detail. Usually 100 or more is now common. But there were 72 pixels in an inch, and I believe that the reason for that, why were the original computers that were used for graphic design, why were they made that way? Because everybody in our industry knew how to measure in points and picas. And if they made the screens at 72 pixels to the inch, that was the same as 72 points to the inch, and everybody who looked at the screen knew how big things were because they were already used to measuring in points. I can't prove that. Maybe there's some research on it somewhere, but I believe that that's why that particular number was chosen, because when those early Macs first came out, they were being used in the graphic design world, and everybody who was a graphic designer knew how to measure in picas and points, because that was the standard of the day. Okay, so whenever we have points, we can abbreviate point as PT or PTS when we we're using plural. Usually, if you were talking about, if you said 18 point, people would think you meant type, that the size of the type was 18 point. Usually we use it without the S when we're talking about type size, and we use it with the S when we're talking about a measurement.